Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm happy to have me. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Gwyneth Paltrow's recently finished Montecito, California home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the black and white checkered entry. This kind of tile pattern is classic, and we love being classic. The tiles reminds me of, you know, as I said, my time living in London, and just a detail that's classic and traditional. We love that there's a fireplace in here, and we love this stuffed table. Having an entryway stuffed table is one of the most important pieces of furniture you could own. Having one of these to put your keys wallet and AirPods on after you come home could literally save you hours a day in looking for them. In the dining room, we love the stone table. We love this hand-painted wallpaper. I originally didn't really understand this, but after thinking more about it, it's hard for some artists to find work. So why not have some of them hand-paint wallpaper for Gwyneth Paltrow? In this chill space, we love how lump-friendly this couch looks. If I crawled into this corner, I'd never leave. This looks like an amazing space to disappear from a dinner party in Chorton. Which if you don't know, a Chort in Farsi is basically a post-meal nap. Which is one of the most satisfying kind of lump sessions you could have. In this living room, we love that there's no TV in here. Respect. We love these chairs behind the couch. Sometimes you want to slouch over the back of a couch and chat with someone, and this will help with that. We love all the gold in the bar. We love the solid 4 BMS in the kitchen. We love the size of the sink. At first I thought this was a bit unhinged and didn't love it. But after thinking more about it, I also realized we should like this. This is bigger than some of the bathtubs we've seen on the show. You could probably wash a Mini Cooper in this thing. At this size, you could put your dish rack in here, which will get it off the countertop and out of sight and out of mind. We love the gold hardware and faucets in here, as well as the gold plated outlets. As a Persian, I require maximum gold. We love this mortar and pestle. We love the location of the range in the island. Gwyneth says she loves to entertain and cook for guests. And also having the range be in the middle of the room because I cook so much and I spent so much of my time facing the wall and my kids would be in the room. So when it's like this, you, you have the opportunity to cook and chat with people. So this makes it really easy to do that facing them so they can enjoy it too. I want to start tracking what kind of range the celebs are getting. This one seems like a monogram brand, looks like she has a deal with them. But most importantly, what's she getting on top? This one has six burners and it looks like a griddle over there on the far side, which is the best combination you can get for a 48 inch grill, so good job, Gwyneth. While we're at this angle, you can see she's got a little butler's kitchen over to the side. And we love that she went with the cabinet matching French door and fridge in the main kitchen but the cool glass industrial one in the butler kitchen. She's also got an extra range back there. And before I forget, some people have said that this hood looks deranged, but I'm gonna have to go with form follows function here. We've seen a lot of island ranges that have pretty pathetic ventilation. The last thing you want is your 14,000 square foot home smelling like pan fried salmon. We love these benches at the kitchen dining table. Now we're going to look at one of the best rooms we've ever seen on this show. It's behind these two doors. Are you ready to take a look inside? You better be ready for it because there's no turning back. This is going to go straight to the top of our list of mansion must-haves. Here we go. Or here we goop, as Gwyneth might say. Gwyneth has her very own wellness spa. This space is a certified maximum chill oasis. It's a vibe vibe. A zen palace. A perfect place for Gwyneth to burn a $75 candle that smells like her special place. There's a sauna, a hot tub, a cold plunge. Hey, how'd you get in here? And showers galore. By the way, these showers are from Waterworks and they're going to run you at least 26000 bucks a piece. We usually don't want to see how plumbing works, but we love the idea of being able to shower in a giant room. We love large showers that give you enough space to lie down and cry in. But in here, you could dance around and cry. And most showers are claustrophobic, but in here, you could be naked and free. The way we were meant to be. We love that there are no windows in here, just some skylights. Windows can be really distracting, and I worry it would feel too much like a cave in here without the sun. So adding this helps you get some vitamin D, which is the second best kind of vitamin D the body can get. I can never get enough of this room, but this episode can't last forever, so let's proceed. Outside, we love that there are no plants around the pool. And we love these trees. I think they're Italian cypress trees, and they're all over Southern California. I used to not like them unless they were properly shaved. But over time, I learned to accept each individual one. 
that would grow at its own pace and really live its own life, so I'm happy for them. And finally, we love that the solar panels are not on the roof, but way off to the side like this. Real talk, solar panels are so ugly, they're not worth ruining your roof over. But if you've got the space to put them on the side, please do. Bird Street. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate this Dustville USA lip in the entry. The last thing you want to do is come home after a long day and open your door and be surrounded by a stadium of dust. In the powder room, we hate that the reclaimed sink looks like a booty hole. In the dining room, we hate that there's no leader at the table. Some people have said that they like this style. It's like birthday party style. The leader sits at the middle of the table while the guests are around you. But I'm counting only four chairs on each side. So there's no exact middle and no exact leader. We hate this indoor hammock in the living room. Unless I see documents signed by a structural engineer, there's no way I could ever trust an indoor hammock. Nothing would ruin a lump sesh faster than falling to the floor on one of these. By the way, this one's from Ralph Pucci and it'll cost you about $63,000. I don't know if we hate it, but in the living room, she said she bought this U-shaped couch, but it was too big. So her designer made it smaller. And I really don't get how that works. And then she kind of modified the size a little bit. We hate the lighting in here. This is from a collection called The Paradise Collection, and it was inspired by Guns N' Roses' Paradise City. And I don't know about you, but this is not my idea of paradise at all. This is closer to a hell chandelier than a paradise chandelier. And it's going to cost you about $46,000. To which I say, no thanks. In this lump space, we hate these lights. In the kitchen, we hate that the sink is not flush with the countertop. You want to be able to take a sponge and just slide everything and all the junk from the countertop right into the sink and you can't hear. We hate all of these glass cabinets. There's too much pressure to keep everything inside these organized and to not fill it up with clutter. But guess what? Clutter always wins. We hate this ladder. We hate the way the floor doesn't line up down here. This is the kind of thing that's going to keep me up all night. We hate that the cabinets above the sink are not symmetrical. This is the kind of thing that's going to keep me up all night. We hate this ladder in here. It looks really dangerous and I'd hate to picture what could happen in here with it. We hate the amount of pots and pans she has. This many pots and pans broke my brain. It doesn't look like these drawers roll out so you're gonna hurt your back just trying to get all these. I don't see myself ever needing to make 10 soups at once either. And I'm sorry, but stop. In this house, we love La Crusette and La Crusette only. We hate the fireplace in the kitchen and we hate all these plates that are on display. Hey everyone, check out my plates. It's something I just don't ever see myself saying. On top of that, it doesn't seem very earthquake friendly, even though I'll give them a few points for putting this wire across and these little ridges for the plates to sit into. Seems like anything over a four or five on the Richter scale would knock all of these down. I hope GP has insurance for all of this. Even though this spa was near perfect, there were two things we had a problem with. First, the showers look like droids. I don't want droids looking at me while I rinse and lather. And we hate that there was no couch in here. Add a couch and maybe a little mini fridge and I could be in here forever. Finally, we hate that this home has a kind of backwards layout on the property. I think they did this because the ocean view is facing like this way or maybe it's this way, I'm not sure. So they wanted that view in the backyard. But if I had basically unlimited budget and built my dream forever home, I would have found a property where I could have proper curb appeal as well as the right backyard view instead of this situation. This home ranks four out of five on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the stats after show where we take a deeper dive into the stats. First off with the ranking, we gave this a four and a half out of five. Would have given this a perfect ranking, a five out of five, but we're missing photos from the main bedroom and a lot of other rooms. So it was too hard for me to make that decision without that info. The layout of the property, as I mentioned, being a little bit backwards was also kind of a deal breaker, but she did a really good job with this home, so I may be willing to overlook that. All these pictures were from her Architectural Digest interview, so thank you, AD, for all the screenshots and the peek inside her home. Overall, it was a pretty nice space and pretty cozy. Not sure if this was a total knockdown or just a, basically a full remodel, but you got this property for a pretty good deal and had been building on it for a long time. With some drama from her neighbors, they thought she was building too big, but she got it done. What did you all rank it? 
and what did you love and hate about it as always and be sure to like this post on youtube as well as to subscribe if you're watching it there we need all the love we can get Special thank you to all of our Patreon Ice Coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a winner and I have a $5 iced coffee every day, so thank you. A special shout out to our Patreon Plus producers. That's Spencer, Melissa, Teddy, Dan, Megan, Lauren, Henry Gretchen, Julie Barkov, Ellen, Paul, Alyssa, Ann, Colin, Mike, Sarah, Emmy, Ferry, and Beth. Thank you so much. And here are the rest of our wonderful Patreon producers. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all next episode. Oh, hey, you're still here? Picture this. You're standing on this ladder because you need to get a 12th sauce stop pot from up here because you're having a big soup party for all of your famous friends and you had nowhere to store it but up here, so you grab it. And as you're coming down, guess what? You trip and fall. You fall down and down and down. The pot falls onto your head and gives you a concussion. Now your brain is bleeding. Guess what? Your bad luck is not over because there's just been a 10 earthquake and every single one of these plates is falling right down onto your head, concussion after concussion. And when you think it couldn't get any worse, the mortar and pestle also fall on your head. You are now blacked out. In your blackout dream, you're in your spa, slowly floating up to the light. You get one last scent of your vagina candle, which reminds you of when days were better. Three minutes later, you die. No thanks.